Today we're reviewing one of my favorite books ever written. It's called When Character Was King by Peggy Noonan. I am gonna give you a background on why I like Noonan so much and why this book is so vital reading today as we lead into a presidential election in 2024. I'm John Henderson with the Conservative Book Society, reviewing and recommending books from a conservative perspective. Let's get to it. All right, today we're talking about When Character Was King by Peggy Noonan. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of background on Peggy Noonan and then also discuss what the book is all about. And then part two of this video is gonna dive into some of the main points that I think Noonan makes in her book. So Peggy Noonan is a just an extraordinary talent. She's most known for her speech writing abilities in the Reagan administration and then later on wrote a book called What I Saw at the Revolution, which was a, a wonderful book. And then telling of the coming of the Reagan era and her experience in that and working in the White House. It's just a fantastic read. And then she went on to start writing for the Wall Street Journal and she has been there for a long time. She wrote, I believe she won a Pulitzer Prize for her writing after September 11th and she has done an extraordinary job um, maintaining a, a weekly column called Declarations, which I have read probably most of them over the past uh, almost 20 years. She's just an extraordinary talent. There's no question about it. What she does in this book is, I, you know, and if all the things I've read is that she nails this. Her subject, she is able to capture better than any historian or biographer is able to capture because she really peels back the onion to try to understand Ronald Reagan, President Reagan. She had great admiration and respect for her former boss and you can tell it in these pages, but it's not just that. She has a shrewd analysis of what is kind of going on behind the scenes, some of the players. I don't know Peggy Noonan. I actually met her once as a child, which I didn't know that I would grow up to respect her so much. But I do recall, you know, read, you know reading her columns, her weekly columns, and then so, several of her books, is that there's an impression that she is not a big personality person but she is the person who happens to always be in the room with the big personalities and the big players and all that. And she is totally comfortable with that. A lot of times you've got uh, newspaper writers or whatever, you know, reporters, journalists, this sort of thing that are trying to make a name for themselves. She seems to be totally comfortable with who she is, the name that she has. She's not trying to impress anybody. So she's calling these shots. And doing that allows you really to peer into the, the character of who somebody is. So what she does here when character was king is just a great analysis. She's able to talk with admiration about Ronald Reagan's main strength, his character, the way he treated other people. Many, many examples of the fine people around him. And I'll just give you one little snippet in her analysis is that Ronald Reagan was great. One of the things that made him so great and extraordinary is that people, everyone who knew him around him wanted to guard him and protect him and be on his team. And that is a, a rare, rare occurrence. And so I read this book now um, and I'm reviewing this book now because we have a presidential election coming up a year from now, just under a year from now. And it is vital that we remember what Ronald Reagan was probably remains one of the best conservative figures of the 20th century, but you know, maybe even more than that. He is respected as one of the best presidents in United States history. Everything seemed to go just right with him. But as she shows, everything didn't in fact go right with him. But it was his personality, the way he treated people, that he always was able to turn uh, even negatives into wins from time to time. I mentioned, but she also talks about Reagan's philosophy and why he held that philosophy. She talks about his daily life and his habits. 
he, she talks about his feelings about his father and, and he went through a divorce and various other things that helped mold him into the person that he was. She talks a lot about Nancy Reagan. She talks a lot about the sacrifices that people, Reagan's family had to make. She grabs all these things together and I think that she is able to do this because people trust her. And so the men and women who surrounded Ronald Reagan and loved him most are able to be open with her. The people who work with her, because they trust her. And so she's, she's never gonna say something rude and mean and nasty about anybody, but she is gonna give a good, fair, honest analysis. But anyway, it's a great read. This is the type of, type of men and women with this type of character that we should be remembering as we all we're trying to figure out who we're going to vote for in the upcoming presidential elections and also into the future of the Republican Party. A good, solid thinker. She's a great conservative. She's somebody to pay attention to. But the biggest thing that she does and adds is that she can write beautifully. She can write, and I don't say that lightly because I don't think that about very many people. But when she puts pen to paper, it really sings and then you can tell it. And it makes it for very easy reading when you pick up any of Noonan's work. Be sure to check out part two of this video where we're gonna talk, dive more in depth about this book and why Noonan thinks that Ronald Reagan's character was his main ammunition that he used against everybody and why he was so successful. I'm John Henderson with the Conservative Book Society. Thanks for watching.